I've literally removed all of the guesswork and reduced it down to a 60 minute time window. Gave it a cool ass name, the silver bullet, because that's what you're looking for. A silver bullet that never misses. You have a 90% likelihood of making fucking money. This journey that you're going through, you're going to have peaks of mountains that you're going to, you're going to reach the top of and you're going to feel like you've conquered everything. And then you're going to keep going forward. Well, if you're at the top of the mountain, what's going to happen? You're going to have to go down. Keep going forward. Well, that means you're going down. But you're going to view that going down period as the end of your career. And you start pushing too hard on your trades and th forcing things that aren't in the chart. So what I did was I used the information that I gleaned from pain, blown accounts, real psychological warfare that I put myself through. No troll can say anything to me that would be more painful than I've already done to myself in my career as a 20 year old. Nobody could do anything to me. Nobody can do anything, say anything about me to make me fucking lose sleep. I don't give a shit. Okay. But you as a new student, whether you're learning from me or anybody else, you're highly influenced. It's so easy to manipulate and, and, and you're malleable. Look, you're, you can be manipulated to the point where bad news about anything that you're trying to do will convince you quickly. And you'll use that as a perfect excuse to say, okay, it's too much effort. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's definitely a fraud. It's definitely a scam. It's, it's, it's this, this this doesn't work. It doesn't, it doesn't work when it does. You just simply haven't put the time in doing the right things. Okay, there's people out there that spent a lot of time doing stupid shit, watching videos only. You got to be in this, looking at the price action, studying it, going through the process of measuring how much drawdown the trades occur. How often does these fair value gaps form? I've literally removed all of the fucking guesswork and reduced it down to a 60 minute time window. Okay. 60 minute time window gave it a cool ass name the silver bullet because that's what you're looking for a fucking silver bullet that never misses okay if you understand narrative and you know where the next draw on liquidity is you have a 90 percent likelihood of making fucking money if you know how to trade and use that model there's nobody else out there can say that shit because their indicators they don't know when their indicators are going to change and say it's overbought oversold or it's a diversion they don't know they're a victim of that shit they're waiting for that train wreck to happen. They're waiting for it. I am telling you where this shit's going to explode. I'm telling you where it's going to go to. I'm telling you what time it's going to form. What guessing game do you need to make now? What guessing game? Between 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock. Every fucking day. There is a gap that can be found from a five minute. If it's not on a five minute, where do you look? Okay, drop down to a four minute. Oh, I don't see a gap there yet. Let me drop down to what? Three minutes. You learned that in a 2022 model. Some of you are pretending like you never even watched that stuff. You didn't You didn't figure that out yet? You have to go down. You, you're doing a top-down analysis on intraday chart, on micro market analysis. Five minutes. That's your high time frame on intraday. When you're in the little time frames, you know, five minutes is like a fucking weekly chart on a 15-second chart. But I don't want to trade that way. Then don't fucking trade that way. But use the information on the higher time frames. You guys belly ache the, bell, the, the, the people that do belly ache. You're belly aching about things that I've already addressed. If you just simply watch the videos and kept good notes, I've already talked about those things. But you're fucking lazy. You don't. You want me to take you to the video at the minute marker and save you all the time and effort of going through it properly, and you learn more going through it the normal way. You think that one thing you're wrestling right now is going to be the thing that makes it better for you to start making money. That's not how it works. Because when you learn something new, 20 more fucking questions pop up. You know what, that, know what that's called? That's fucking progress. Okay? That's progress. And you're afraid of it. Because you're stepping into the unknown. You're stepping into a field that is extremely technical. And all the results are contributed to your decision making. Your execution you're pushing in the button you're not or placing of a stop loss the amount of leverage that you're applying to that trade that's all your fucking fault it's yours you need to own it i'd never sugarcoat that stuff and the people that bellyache the most are the ones that are doing all the wrong things and they're thinking that there's something new i'm going to teach that fixes that when it's you you are that was me when i was younger i did all that same stupid shit 
I was the reason why I was blowing those accounts. It wasn't the market. It was me. I knew what I was doing most of the time was wrong right before it would stop me out. And I still wouldn't get out because I was arm wrestling it. Well, I had a perfect opportunity, a perfect stage set for me right now, just recently in the last six weeks or so. I introduced what I like. I would like to see the seasonal tendency pan out. I would like, I said that. I said it in Twitter spaces. I said it in a YouTube video. I audibly made myself and talked about it in tweets. But if the market in itself is showing us, it's not going to do that. I'm not that same 20 year old neophyte. I'm not the guy that's wrestling with his emotions about being right. I don't need to be fucking right. It's actually better. It's better when I'm not right. I can teach you when I'm messing it up. I'm a human being. If I make a mistake, how are you going to deal with that? How does ICT deal with it when he does it wrong? Look at what I did on Friday like 11,000 something, whatever it is in terms of trading up and down, up and down. And I forced myself to take shorts that I know that could potentially pay out. But the bias was what? Reaching that weekly volume imbalance. I even type it out. This is not a short. You're all going to see it. So I'm communicating that. Yes, there's a short there, but it's not the short that I would really want. I want to be long. And I showed you the history, every little trade, every little thing that went through. And I think it was like nine hundred and seventy-five dollar uh, losing trade there, but on the grand scheme of things, it's nothing on that day. You wouldn't even feel that if every one of those trades were made by you. you would you be worried about that nine hundred seventy-five dollars that it would have been a loss? For some of you, it's like the end of the fucking world. It's the rock in your shoe. You can't go any further. You can't, I can't do this anymore. It's, it hurts too much. You're not ready. So how, how do you fix that? Go back into back testing. For the guy that sent me a tweet this morning and said, uh, what do I do if I'm able to see the draw on liquidity? Well, first of all, you got to understand, are you able to do that or are you using mine? Because if I'm calling the market direction and you're falsely attributing it that you can do that, because many times students come to me in the early stages, they think I'm ready because I'm lending you my experience. I'm giving you my 30 years of experience reading these markets that way you can decide on where you think the market's going to go you, you can ignore me you can fade me at your peril but i'm telling you where i believe the market's going to go next and look at it. we've been doing it for a couple of years now publicly and you decide is it is it accurate is it accurate or not if it is that's what keeps you here that's what keeps the the community growing because if i didn't know what the fuck i was doing i would be canceled already be like this, this guy's on the fuck he's talking about you see it you see the evidence of it but are you really able to see the next draw on liquidity? If you are, what model are you using? What's the multiplier you're using? What PD array are you using to get into a trade? Is it always changing? As a mentor, I discovered that many of my students wanted to force a specific PD array. And it's usually in the beginning, it's the order block. The least taught thing that I've done, that's the thing that they want. Because everybody doesn't know what the fuck they're doing with it. And I've already said this. That will not be released until it's in a book. Because it's been already been abused poorly you know, from other people. You don't know what an order block is. Okay, It has nothing to do with level 2 data. It has nothing to do with the size of orders resting in the market. It has nothing to do with that. It's a change in the state of delivery. Where the market turns from a buy model to a sell model. From a sell model to a buy model. I have not taught that to anybody. My charter members don't know that. They did not learn that, okay? They have been introduced to an idea. They, If they were all in a room right now, and I said, okay, raise your hand as a private mentorship student. You're all charter members. Raise your hand if I taught that. Nobody would raise their hand up. Raise your hand if I said you've just been introduced to it. There's more lectures coming on that. They would all raise their hand. So stop believing these fucking people trying to sell you shit. I got the secrets from ICT's forum. He taught this. He taught Enigma. I am never teaching fucking Enigma. Enigma. It's not going to be taught to anybody outside my fucking family. My children are going to decide whether or not they ever gets taught. Maybe one of them will sell out their soul <laughs> and make it a book or make it a course or whatever. I don't give a fuck. You know, it's their, it's their decision. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I went on a really long rabbit trail. I gotta take my notes here, make sure I'm on the right path.